Olivia Sands, Molly Riedemann, and Peter Fantosi are all former students of Kennedy Catholic High School in Burien. Now they attend Gonzaga University. Looking back at their high school years, they have only fond memories of their former teachers, Paul Danforth and Michelle Beatty, who are now in the midst of controversy at the school. In my 17 years of education, he's one of the best teachers I've ever had. She was awesome. She really connected with her students. I think it came pretty effortlessly for her. These teachers voluntarily resigned last week, according to school officials. But Danforth's fiance says they both are no longer employed because they are engaged to same-sex partners. Paul has asked me to keep anything I know in even feel confidential. Um, he stated that numerous times and I've chosen not to. Hearing that initial news was really disheartening as an alumni of Kennedy. Um, I have a lot of family that went to the school and that's just really doesn't reflect the values of the whole community. I wanted more information. Um, being at Kennedy for four years, I don't think this was just like a random event out of the blue. To see that they weren't getting the support that they deserved was really sad to see. But the school isn't necessarily coming out saying these teachers were fired because they are gay. But do you, do you all think that that may be the reason why they are no longer employed there? I believe the administration at Kennedy Catholic is, is, is trying, and I don't believe they just turned a, a blind eye. I would, I would respectfully disagree. I, I do think that they were uh, not supported because they were gay and that they were let go because they were gay. Um, uh, not just because they were gay, but because specifically they were going to be getting married. <laughs> They say this is a bigger issue than just their alma mater. There's a greater message here. I think it's an archdiocese issue, and I think it's one that people really want to see change. And I think there's an opportunity for change, and we've seen that with the outpouring of love and the movement that has come from just this isolated incident. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.